Good morning everyone. Today is July 16th, 2019. It is 62 but feels like 60 here in North Idaho. I'm Jody and welcome to Moose Flats Farm. So I'm going to attempt to slide the pepper pot onto the big table. It looks like it's going to get a little hairy. I'll wait till baby John's up and moving around. that actually didn't wasn't that hard to do and now that I move that the other big tomato pots will have a little more space but really now have to get in and get them tied up because they were all supporting each other so I think that's the next order of business Now the question is how? So I got this long wooden stake. I'm going to put it in there and try to tie this one up. kind of stable for now. That guy. Hi babies. Now I have one more stake that I can put on the back side and pull that guy that way. Okay, at least everything now is kind of stable. Just have to water and then this afternoon I'm going to come out and do a little judicious cleaning. But the culprit for everything falling over, this big white petunia that was grown in the pepper pot. So, get back to watering and see you guys in a little bit. Well, I got that project done. Got the greenhouse cleaned up. And got the peppers moved and the tomatoes kind of tied up. Still need to go through and prune them back a little, but that's for a later time. Let's see if we can get some of this hot mess cleaned up. And we'll start with the corn and then move over to the Chinese cabbage and the figure out what I'm going to do with the radishes. Hopefully that keeps it up. But at least now I can get in here and water the corn behind you and get the peppermint or spearmint watered. Trying to pick the best areas to leave the radish flowers.
as you can see they really didn't do anything well that looks better on the radishes gives the couple peppers and the one eggplant some space to do their thing now tie up this Chinese cabbage and I think because I opened up that space I'll pull it this way Well, he's out of one walkway and into the other. I think I'm going to need a stake on the other side to pull it that way a little. I'll just do a really long one and do a loop and pull it over to the fence, the arbor itself. I hear you guys. Hi, Valkyrie. Yeah, this one might be one. So I'm going to end this evening the hopefully opposite that I started this morning. But the baby ducks did get taken out of the playpen and have been running around. Give you a glimpse of them. Then we'll go to the greenhouse, the giant squashes, and then to the garden. But they have that little mud tray. They've been in and out of it all afternoon. All doing really good. And they are growing. I have to fill the little red feeder. It's empty of water. But the last shot of the greenhouse, that was all full of stuff. And as you saw in a, earlier in this video, I moved the one big pepper pot. 
didn't really do any pruning or tying up of those guys. Did prune these ones a little, mostly down low just to give those peppers a fighting chance. But in there are the homegrown peppers. Got over here some black Hungarians coming on. And that's the cool thing about moving this pot is I can still read the labels. Okay, let's go look at the what I did with the squashes. So I did prune this guy back. Still got to get him on a board. I just stuck that one hot water tray. But got that guy pruned back. Yeah, you guys left Mike on the other side of the shed. Again. But I forgot to show you earlier my Scarlet Runner beans are starting to put fruit on. And some of the little peppers We've got peppers coming. But look at that run of green tomatoes. I cannot wait until they start to turn. Green beans are starting to really take off. Good to see you. Can't wait till I can start picking some. More bunches of tomatoes. But over here to the serendipity morning glory, I just created this panel. Hopefully can trying it to go up but I need to come out with my knife because and it's in the shade I got broccoli that's a little head There's a great big head. Uh, it's getting really close. I need to bring the knife out and there's about four or five that I need to get. Still don't see any flowers on the cauliflower. But here's the other side of the green beans, tomatoes and my winter squashes going. And now this guy is wanting to fall all over the place. Have him tied in one spot probably going to have to do another <sighs> but I did go through the tomatoes and kind of got them cleaned up and 
tied up. Hi guys, or I should say hi girls. But got these guys all. Oh, I have something weird to show you. Let me see if I can find it. Where was it? Okay, right there, you have the stem. It goes to a bushel of fruit. And then it's come out into another stem. That has got flowers and stuff on it. Has anybody ever had that happen or seen anything like that? I have never, and I've got several of them that are doing that. Cool, but weird. Stand up, Mr. Dill. But like I was saying, got all the tomatoes tied up. And the coolest part is, look, you can walk through that walkway. Remember this morning, you had the corn and the Chinese cabbage that was coming all the way over. The Chinese cabbage is now tied up nice and skinny. The bees can still get to what flowers are there, but I can watch the seed pods and when they're getting close I can just clip the whole thing down but I did go through as you saw earlier and it was really funny because as I was just finishing clearing this out my camera battery went dead perfect ending but got that cleaned up not so many peas this evening. I was out in the garden munching. But got all those guys. Over here, I got that corn staked up and it looks like it's gonna be okay. Just have to watch this was one of the stalks. You can kind of see right there where it was caught in the tomato cage. Make sure it's going to be okay. But I think it's all good. And I keep forgetting to show you this. But I'm excited. The Several of the eggplants have got blossoms coming on them. Yeah, that one there too. Look at those tomatoes. So cool to see. We've both basically ever only grown cherry tomatoes here. Because usually by time we'll get a tomato that's that size. It's end of August. First of September we usually get our first frost. These guys are going. So, the other day when I was out here weeding, 
found a couple different mother nature planted and I left them and then I just noticed today a weird mother nature planted show you guys what mother nature planted so here in with these hot peppers I have a corn I planted my corn over there the dill you all know about hi guys but I was noticing as I was going through and weeding I've got lots of little foxgloves coming up which will quit eating the corn <sighs> geese and corn which will be really cool and you'll see where they're going to be transplanted in the next day or two but look at this <sighs> I'm wondering if I should cut some and throw it in the freezer for when it's time to make salsa what else crazy did I see uh, besides call or broccoli that needs to be pricked there's nothing crazy there There's a petunia. Really, Valkyrie? But I have petunias growing there. And petunias growing there. And I would say that's either going to be a regular sweet pea or a wild sweet pea. Just because it's different texture than my snap peas. And that's all I ever plant. Valkyrie, you saying hi? Aren't you a pretty little goose? Yes. except for when you're eating the corn through the fence. So I'm gonna end today's video out here in the garden still. I gotta get that broccoli cut. So I hope you guys have a good day and a good week. And don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. And I'll see you on Thursday's video. Bye. So, got a little basket of broccoli. Yummy!